Hey guys, it's your girl Tash. To all my subscribers, big up on yourself. You don't know up up. In this video, I'll be showing you guys my little client's take out and wash routine. So he's got very fine hair and it's quite light. It's one of those hair types that dries out very quickly. It sucks up moisture and it always gets those little white fluffs underneath the braids. So usually as I take one braid out, I usually comb out and detangle that one braid before undoing any more braids. But because I can see that there are fluffs in his hair, I will definitely not try to comb the hair out because with these fluffs, they actually stick to his hair and causes the hair to tangle. So since he's going to have his hair washed today, I will comb the hair out once the conditioner is in it. So today, his lovely mother is going to help me to wash his hair out and she's using my shampoo and conditioners. So first, she tries to detangle her son's hair by combing it out just a little bit on top and now she goes in with the shampoo and she's using shampoo by Speechless Hairstyles which we're currently experimenting with. She has been testing out some of my hair products in her own hair as well which I mix up for her but as we are still experimenting with my products I won't give out any details right now but please hit that subscribe button to stay updated with the results of my own made hair care products once we've had enough results to show from my experiment i will definitely keep you guys in the loop So once the conditioner is in, she now tries to comb the air out, which is looking very easy at the moment. So I'm happy that she's finding my products to be very satisfying at the moment. I am happy that they're both happy because this boy would usually scream the house down when he's having his hair washed. So the fact that he's not screaming is very satisfying. So now that his hair is all washed and conditioned, I am adding some of my leave-in conditioner which will help to keep the hair detangled, moist and curly. 
so we don't usually use a blow dryer for his hair what I normally do after a wash is twist the hair round in little bumps like this and back home in Jamaica we call them tiny bumps I'm not too sure what they call them these days but back home in Jamaica growing up as a child we didn't have any electricity in my household so I didn't even know that a blow dryer existed at that time my elders had to use a cold stove for hot irons but anyways my point is that my mother or my aunties whoever is washing my hair would do these shiny bumps twist on my hair while it's wet and my hair will dry like this with the twist in and once my hair is dried they would unravel these twists and then braid my hair but sometimes they would also leave these twists in for a couple of days before unraveling them and I remember it was so uncomfortable to sleep on oh my gosh what sweet memories are huh? and my best memories about these twists is that when you unravel them the curls would look so tight and beautiful you could wear your hair out for days looking like a coolie pitney but anyways it's a wonderful method to use for your natural hair it definitely locks in the moisture for days So this is the end result and as you can see his hair is looking all moist and soft and ready to braid. So please guys don't forget to comment, like and share this video. Also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook to stay updated with the channel. Finally hit that subscribe button. Bye bye for now and hope to see you guys on my next premiere.